All right, so my new greenhouse, uh, it's 40 degrees outside, but when the sun is shining, uh, this greenhouse gets up to 102 degrees. So it's time to install these vents that I found. They're uh, called Univents, uh, and they're heat activated so that when your greenhouse reaches a certain temperature, uh, the automatically open. So I am going to cut uh, some vents, uh, uh, hatches basically up here in this section, one on each side of the greenhouse and hopefully when it reaches a certain uh, temperature these guys will open up and uh, allow the heat out. So let's get started. Well, it's winter time, and uh, I'm glad we got the greenhouse built uh, before winter hit. Uh, we've already planted some seeds, and they are in the greenhouse, uh, hopefully getting ready to sprout here in the next week or so. Uh, let me show you where we're, what we've accomplished so far. So here we are in the greenhouse. Uh, we're laying down a flagstone for our base uh, here, and uh, it's coming along pretty nicely. Julie just ran to the to Lowe's to go pick up more, and uh, I'm going to try and cut these vents in. Uh, so here's what the vent looks like. The part here attaches to the sill, and then you screw in this cylinder here, which I don't know how it works, but it's heat activated, and uh, it basically opens up. Uh, pushes basically this lever out. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is cut the hatches. Alright, just like most of my videos, things don't go exactly as planned. Uh, I had thought I had screwed up and cut the, my door too short um, because I was trying to mount this whole rig, kind of like it, how it shows when it's folded up, uh, completely onto this door and then onto the, the framework right here. Um, but I didn't have enough room. I thought, I thought that this piece here had to, well, had to mount that way, so I no end up notching that out, which I didn't really have to do, but <clears throat> what I s screwed up on is um, my particular greenhouse here has a little ledge right here, uh, and the, the thing that solved it was I, I just mounted this one bracket here, um, and this one here, and then I also had issues of this not clearing, um, but it does now, and then What's weird is I can't really test this. I'm not sure how I'm gonna test this because um, it takes heat to activate it. But uh, when it opens up, it should expand like that and let the heat out. And then as it cools down, close back up again. So, uh, so I, and then I ended up cutting my opening bigger, you can see, See, there's where my first one was, and then I ended up splicing in this piece that I cut off to make the opening bigger, which I, I didn't have to do, <laughs> but I didn't know it. Um, so uh, now I don't know if on the other side, if I'm going to make the, the opening this big or go the full distance all the way down to here. I might go the full distance here, just that allows that much more heat out quicker. 
when it does heat up in here. Um, so I have some trim to put on on the inside to help keep the uh, hot air from escaping uh, you know, at nighttime uh, to basically seal this up so when this closes uh, no, uh, it's uh, weather tight and no air can come in. So I'm going to trim that out and then uh, kind of cut the insulation and put the insulation back on here and uh, that should be it for this side. All right, well here it is completed. It's not pretty. I kind of Frankensteined it. Um, but uh, I, as long as this cylinder works here, uh, I think I'm good to go. Uh, like I said, I didn't need to cut this notch in here, uh, but I put some foam uh, um, weather stripping up in here so that when the door closes, it kind of pinches that up and keeps any cold air from blowing in. Got my foam back up. I just have to secure it somehow, and I think that's uh, I think that's it. The other side will be a little cleaner. It won't be uh, cut up in pieces and put back together. Now that I know exactly how I want to mount this, um, but it appears to be several different ways that you can mount this bracket depending on what you're trying to do for your hatch. So. I'm curious to see this open for the first time. Wonder if I could take a, a, a hot air gun or a, a hair dryer to this and see if it opens up automatically. I might try that just for the hell of it. All right, well there's the vent. Put a hair dryer to it and it opened right up. That should allow the heat uh, to escape the greenhouse when uh, it gets too hot. So I'll uh, end up putting one on the other side and uh, I think we're good to go. There's what the outside looks like uh, even with my splice job in there. Uh, once I come in and uh, paint that and fill uh, any little holes, I should be good to go. So that's not too bad, it kind of disappears. A couple other things uh, in here is we uh, have these heat lamps. Uh, I have one here and another one over there. And we have, uh, they plug in to a waiver strip here, or a, you know, depending on what you call this, waiver strip, power strip. And then uh, down here on the wall, I have a timer uh, that's programmed. To come on at uh, six o'clock at night and turn off at six o'clock in the morning so it, it keeps the place a little bit warm uh, here in the winter and uh, I also have uh, these grow lights I bought two of these um, to help uh, with uh, our days are still short up here in the Pacific Northwest so these lights here um, will help uh, <coughs> our new seedlings uh, kick in a little bit uh, faster and uh, give them a little bit more light uh, since we the sun is still limited up here uh, and uh, basically uh, that's our little greenhouse right now um, so far so good uh, we have some more seeds that are coming and uh, we'll start planting those uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks when they arrive um, I think I'm gonna it's interesting I'm gonna do a video uh, here on purchasing seeds because I buy these seeds I think I bought these from Ber Berkey Berkeley or whatever they are and it takes forever for them to arrive and some of the success rates with their seeds I don't know if it's just from them that is not good or from other companies so I'm going to do a, a review on uh, different seed uh, companies and how fast they arrive and how well their seeds work and who I think is the best so Stay tuned uh, for that. Uh, and uh, I think that's it for now.